Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm in the street, and it is Thursday. Still no school. Got canceled because of snow again. Longest winter break ever. It's finally here. I got as a Christmas present, as one of my Christmas presents, some money to put towards a Mac Pro, and I'm going to tell you all about it while I'm opening it. Let me tell you, I've been waiting this for waiting for this uh, this specific one that I won on eBay for just a few days. I actually it shipped on Monday, which is pretty good. I won it on Friday, but yeah, it shipped on Monday. And it's here on Thursday. It came all the way from New York, and yeah. But I've been wanting to get a Mac Pro for a very, very long time. I am so excited to finally have it here, and it just got here literally like. 10 minutes ago, not even that, just like five minutes ago. I'm a little, little winded because I just carried it all the way upstairs. But as you can see, it's got some uh, stickers on it, handle with care, all that. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna open it here live on camera. Tape, tape is very secure. And yeah, it has like glass stickers on it. Obviously, it's metal, it's not glass, but still wants to handle it with care as it is a computer all right the knife is not working let me get out these scissors this is amazing so this is a 2006 model which i'll talk about in a bit um it is not the baseline though uh, it only has four gigabytes of ram but i had the option to get a different one that had eight gigabytes of ram but the other one, while it was slightly cheaper, even though it had 8 gigabytes of RAM, it was a 2.6 gigahertz processor, which was the standard. That was the baseline, the bottom, the least powerful you could get when these first came out. And the one I opted to bid on was a 3 gigahertz processor. And, you know, you can upgrade the RAM, but you cannot really upgrade the processor. So I'm glad that I, that I went for the upgraded processor. Now, obviously, since this is the 2006 model, it cannot run Mavericks out of the box, uh, the newest version of Mac. It cannot even run Mountain Lion. The highest version it can run is Lion, officially. But you guys know that I am fine with hacking stuff to make it work. In the future, I will make this run Mavericks. Um, probably will not make it run OS 11. Uh, if they decide to release OS 11 after Mavericks, um, which I think would be a good idea. But yeah, I will certainly make it run Mavericks in the future. The reason I'm not right now, in addition to only having 4 gigabytes of RAM, it does have the baseline NVIDIA, um, I think it's 7300 GT or something like that. Man, there's a lot of tape here. But yeah, finally have this thing. This is going to be acting as my web server. Now, when I upgrade the RAM in a video card, which is not going to happen immediately, because I don't want to spend all my money on just this one machine. When I upgrade the RAM in the graphics card, I will upgrade this to Mavericks, um, because the, the processor is a 64-bit processor. This has two, it's only quad core, it's not an eight core. Eight core would have been outside my budget, but I will eventually use this for like video editing and whatnot, but right now I'm not going to use it for video editing. I'm still using my my powerful custom built PC for video editing. This is going to be my web server and mumble server and whatever else. Oh my gosh, this is just great. This is great. Let me make sure we're definitely recording. Yeah, this is so cool. Now this is grade B which does not mean that the computer has lower performance than a grade A. It just means this is going to be scuffed up a bit. So nobody, nobody freak out when this is a little scuffed up. Original Apple power cord, it looks like, which is great. You know, custom power cord wouldn't be that bad, but original Apple power cord just held together with a rubber band. And I will link the store that I bought this from, that I want this from, Computer Overhauls. Uh, like I said, they're based in New York, but it's an eBay store. So, yep, Mac Pro two times two or two times three gigahertz Exxon dual core. So that's quad core total. 
500 gig hard drive and I'll be putting my 120 gig SSD in here as well. Four gigs of RAM and it should have Lion pre-installed on it. I'm really excited to get this out of the box. So like I said, this will have some scuffs on it because um, it was grade B, which made it quite a bit cheaper. But you know, that's all right. Um, man, this is heavy. Obviously this is not the original Apple packaging, but you know, that's all right. All the ones with original packaging cost more. Honestly, I'm just happy I got, this is still a really powerful computer. Even though it's from 2006, it is still more powerful than, than a lot of the computers Apple sells today. Okay, so we got a whole lot of bubble wrap, which is great. You see that on pretty much any eBay computer thing. Of tape. <laughs> uh oh, all right. Popping bubble wrap here. That's okay. And there it is. There it is. Is I I have wanted one of these longer than I've had my other computer. An actual Mac Pro. This is actually better. They had pictures of what the grade Bs were supposed to look like. You can see there's maybe you can see there's some scuffs near the top. <sighs> we're just gonna take the phone out of the tripod here. The camera out of the tripod. This is really exciting. So as you can see, this is the side that does not open up. And like I said, there are some scuffs because it's grade B, but they made it look like there were going to be scratches all over the side panel. And there's not. This is actually, this looks really good compared to what I was, was expecting, kind of the worst. Um, oh, it's, it really is heavy because the entire thing's metal. There's the front. There's uh, one of the two drives. I don't think there's a, no, there's no optical drive in the second bay, I don't think. But I think there is one in the first, obviously there is one in the first one. Power button. Um, three, no, two USB 2.0 ports, a headphone jack, Firewire 400, Firewire 800. And I, I love this design. I'm going to go over to the right side of the computer, which this is the side that you open to upgrade. Oops, sorry. All right, so this actually is not bad at all. Camera kind of makes it look like this. This part's not jutting out. That's the light reflecting right there. Um, the top of the here is actually kind of just a little bit farther out. We'll get to the back in a moment. But no, this computer is in very good shape. There's hardly any, like this is the only scratch on this entire panel. This looks very good. And this is so cool. If I flip the switch on the back, I cannot believe I finally actually got one of these. This entire side panel just comes off, reveals the inside of the computer. How cool is this design? Even with their professional products, Apple, Apple is the best. <laughs> There's a little bit of dust in here. Actually, is oh uh, yeah, there's a little bit of dust. It's not loose dust. It's kind of stuck to the um, the bottom there. I know the lighting's not great right now. All right, so as you can see, I just rolled out. Uh, the drive is actually in the bottom slot and not the top slot. Um, it's a Sony disk drive. So this is the drive that peeks out of there. And yeah, I thought it would be in the top slot, but it's actually in the bottom slot. Now, I thought that this would be SATA, but turns out it's actually IDE, uh, which obviously the hard drives are SATA, th SATA 2, 3 gigabytes per second, not SATA 3, which is 6 gigs per second, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be SATA, but that's actually IDE, which is fine. Um, as you can see, this, this latch, when you put it down to close the computer, all the hard drives get locked into place, but when you open that latch up, then the locks open up. And this has all four drive bays, correctly numbered in all, one, two, three, four. Um, so we, uh, 
How do we get these out? All right, so this one was easy to get out. Just an empty drive bay, and it's going to be kind of difficult to get an SSD in here, but we'll make it work. I'll talk about that in a moment. So yeah, obviously none of those have anything in them. This first one... Ow. Okay, we'll be right back. Right, so now I'm bleeding. Um, I'll need to figure out how to do that better. Uh, yeah. See, I just cut myself... I was pulling on here, and then my knuckle went against the hard drive. I just cut myself on the hard drive. I made a good slice into my finger there. Um, so that sucks. But, green power, western digital. So this was not what originally came with this computer, but that's alright, because what originally came with this computer was smaller than this, uh, and this is a full 500 gig hard drive, um, 500 gig, so as you can see, no you can't, but I can see in there, uh, the SATA port at the very end mounted there, so yeah, uh, you just pop it in, and the drive actually plugs in straight to the motherboard just like that. It's plugged in now. These are the RAM risers. Um, it's kind of hard to do this with just one hand. Uh, all the RAM goes on, on these, obviously, because they're RAM risers. There we go. So as you can see, two empty slots and two one gigabyte. All right. Oh, those are two two gigabyte things, which is 4 gigs. I guess the bottom one must be empty then. Yep, bottom one's all the way empty. So two 2 gigabyte slot, um, slots and then 6 empty slots. So I can upgrade that to my, my uh, however much I want to. Not sure what's in here. I think the processor. Um, fans are in there. And this is plastic. But all the rest of this is metal. It's aluminum. Behind here, this is the power supply, and then here's the video card, which is a cruddy little 7300 GT, I believe. You can see there, which is worse than the one that I had in my computer for the first year I owned it, the really crappy one I got off of Newegg for 30 bucks. Um, but the, that one that I had does not work with Mac. You have to have specific Mac ones. So yeah, as you can see, the... First slot is double wide, like there's a, uh, maybe you can't see, but there's like a slot. And then this second slot, there's no slot on the motherboard, just a slot on the case for double wide graphics cards. But there are five, no, there are four PCI slots. PCI Express 2.0 slots on this motherboard, um, which are numbered right there. So yeah, that is really cool. And I can see now one scratch on here that I didn't see earlier. But, like I said, that is fine. I got this thing for a bargain compared to <laughs> compared to what it was originally. I'm just going to put the case back on the computer. So now we'll move on to the back of the computer. Man, this thing is heavy. And I will have to give this a once over with a microfiber. Actually, it doesn't even need my microfiber. I just need to wipe this down with a rag. Just because there's some scuffs that can be wiped off on the top. But yeah, as you can see, top mounted power supply. Um, here's the open it. Now the case is unlocked, closed again. Um, and I believe that you can actually pull this tab out to. Right, you can flip a little tab down here so that if you want to, you can actually like put a combination lock here or something so that people you don't want to open this will not be able to open it. Obviously, in my bedroom, that won't be an issue, but that's cool that you can do that. You can lock the case closed. Uh, here are two DVI ports, which I'm hoping will work with my DVI to VGA adapter. It looks like they will because they've got the, the cross thingies. Um, and, yeah, the rest of the empty PCI ports. And like I said, RAM and video card will be getting upgraded in the future. Nothing else, but RAM, video card, and operating system will. Oh, and I'll throw that SSD in here uh, when I go to set it up, too. Uh, here's a fan, just another fan. And then we've got 
three USB 2.0 ports, two, one FireWire 400, one FireWire 800, uh, optical audio in and out, and then we've got more microphone, headphone stuff, two gigabit Ethernet, actually I don't know if they're gigabit Ethernet, two Ethernet ports. I'm just going to the last thing I'm going to show you before I cut to setting this thing up, which is going to take a little bit for me to get everything in my setup and whatnot. But I'm going to take a quick look at the bottom. And these handles are familiar from when I had that Power Mac G3. So the bottom, as you can see, just got copyright and design, in Cal design by Apple in California. Yeah. And FCC compliance and some little rubber feet. So yeah, I'm going to clean this off, and then I'm going to set it right up there where the Power Mac G3 used to be. I'm going to plug it into a monitor and my mouse and keyboard. I'm going to install OSX Lion on it, which is the newest thing available for the 2006 model. And like I said, I can upgrade this to Mavericks as soon as I upgrade the graphics card, but Mavericks does not support the graphics card on here. The reason that Mavericks is not officially supported on here is because there's a 64-bit processor in here, but the EFI, the bootloader, is only 32-bit. Mavericks needs a 64-bit bootloader as well as a 64-bit processor. But yeah, there is a hack online to translate between the 64-bit and 32-bit bootloaders. Um, and then as soon as it's booted into the system, bootloader doesn't even matter anymore. So yeah, I will be doing that as soon as possible. I'm going to clean this off. I'll see you in a moment. All right. As you can see, I set the Mac Pro back up there looking epic as apple products do uh, and from where i sit you can actually see the apple logo a little bit between the monitor and the desk there so that's really cool so here is the makeshift monitor that we are using and i just inserted the lion drive and we are going to attempt attempt to boot into it which might be difficult considering we have no boot screen Okay, this is going to suck. All right. Um, can we get the tripod off the chair, please? All right, yeah, this is not going to be... I, I just realized that. Like, I did not sense any problem whatsoever. Up until this exact moment. Oh, maybe we can do it straight from here. That would be pretty cool. We could do it straight from here and not have to, uh, all right, Mac OS X will be installed on the disk Mac Pro. Whoa, I think we're going to be able to do this without even starting into, uh, hey, oh, no password, just press OK. All right. All right. So computer will restart automatically after downloading additional components. Um, so this is kind of weird. I was expecting to just kind of reboot into this drive but it looks like we're just going to download some stuff here i know the graphics the display thing is still kind of crappy um and i do blame that on the the monitor more than the computer or graphics card uh, but yeah like i said eventually we'll get a graphics card upgrade maybe maybe we'll do a monitor upgrade throw it in there all right your computer will restart in all right, I just clicked restart. So hopefully it will restart into the correct thing without me having to touch anything. Because like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to see the bootloader. And here the low power speaker in the background. Oh, maybe we will be able to see the bootloader. All right, we can see the bootloader. Cool, that must have must have been since we weren't fully set up all the way before. All right, booting into something. Installing! This is good. This is really good. I think we're installing to the disk Mac Pro, which is going to take no time at all because it's an SSD. So at the moment, I have a Samsung hard drive in the Mac Pro, an OC, or a Samsung, I'm sorry, I have a Samsung SSD in the Mac Pro. Restarting computer. Samsung SSD in the Mac Pro and a Western Digital hard drive. And then in the i7 workstation uh, that I built, I've got an OCZ, an OCZ SSD, and a Seagate hard drive. So I've got all of the brands, pretty much. 
Now I'm wondering if it's this is going to boot into what I just installed, or if it's going to boot into that old installation again. Um, we can only wait and see. If we get a desktop, it's the old inst Welcome! So I just booted into the new installation, the SSD install. Now the Apple Pro keyboard, aluminum keyboard, and the Mighty Mouse, the wired Mighty Mouse, also known as the Apple wired mouse, uh, did not come with the Mac Pro. I already had those from another Mac, the iMac downstairs I stole them from and put PC stuff down there. I'm hoping we're connected to the internet here. Can't really tell quite yet. Thank you. Start using Lion. Sweet. All right. So as you can see, things are very dark at the moment. There we go. That's a little better. It's a little better. So I will sign in. And here we are in a fresh installation of Lion. I know there was nothing wrong with the other one, but this one's on an SSD, so it's better. And that is great. So yeah, I'm going to try and fix this monitor thing up a bit. Um, going to install or get working um, server stuff, and I'm going to set up my website on here. So yeah, guys, that was my brand new Mac Pro. Like I said, I'm going to be using it as a web server for six months. Then I'll be using it as a web server and a video editing thing, among whatever else I want to use it for. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm really excited about this. You'll definitely be seeing this in future videos. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm under the street, and I will see you later. See ya.